Hi, friends. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be back with you today on Whimsical Wednesday, and I have a surprise for you. Like Miss Jody this week, she got to interview a friend of hers who had involvement in set design with Peter Pan, and I happen to have a friend who I've known for quite some time who I got to tour the country with, go to college with, but she also happened to be in a production of Peter Pan as Peter and a production of Peter Pan as Wendy. So I want to show you all my friend, Haley Pachoon. Do, 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 do. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I like Haley's reveal. Yeah, you got to have a reveal. We're, We're in the there. theater. See, that's what theater is all about. Oh, and this oh, is Maisie. Hi, Maisie. <laughs> I love Maisie. So guys, Haley and I have known each other for 16 years. We went to college together in musical theater, but Haley left really early because she has been touring the country since she was a little kid and continued to do so. But she's done tons of Broadway shows, all kinds of shows across all of, well, North America and Canada, right? Oh, no, and I didn't get to go to Canada. Oh, so just North America. I know. But I did film the Hairspray movie in Canada. Oh, so then, come on, that counts. I guess a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then she's also in the Hairspray movie. So not only has she done live productions, like we are hoping you're watching with Peter Pan that we've shown you a couple clips of, but she's done movies and TV. And so we wanted to ask Haley some questions today. So you ready, Haley? Yeah, let's do okay. it. So one of the first questions we had was, what is it like to perform in front of a live audience? What's so different about doing it on a camera versus being with live people? Well, what's so nice about performing live is you get to feel the energy of the audience. And even though you're just sitting there watching the show, you really do feel this big group of people coming together, getting to listen from this story and have emotions as they're watching it, whether it be happy or um, sometimes sad or scary. Um, as a performer, you get to really feel that energy. And if you're performing on camera, it's a little different because you really don't have an audience. You're just performing for that lens. And you get the reactions from people much, much later after you do your work. So I kind of like doing theater a little bit more because you get that instant reaction, whether it be laughs or applause whatever it may be, but it's right there and it's instant. Yeah. And it feeds the rest of the people on stage, right? The cast gets all of that energy because it's really potent. You can really feel it. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. So then this brings me to my next question about Tinkerbell. So you got to play both Peter Pan and Wendy in two separate productions. And we're going to talk about that in a second. But one of the big things is trying to have everybody clap for Tinkerbell. So can you talk about what that was like and then what how you would get the the energy from the audience or give them the energy to give back to you? Well, as Peter, that's one of my most favorite parts of the show other than flying. And you kind of what we call we call the thing in front of the audience, the fourth wall right. as an actor with people who are on stage. So that's when we kind of get to break the fourth wall and we get to instead of react and chat with our people that we're doing our scenes with, we get to reach out to the audience. And it's really fun because as Peter, you're the only person on stage along with Tinkerbell. And Tinkerbell is your sidekick. Like you, she's your right arm. You know, you, you need that. You need that extra little limb, that extra little love from your sidekick. And when she starts to you know, her light starts to go out. You, We've got to have that magic. And it really is emotional as the actor, but it's also emotional for the audience. And it's so cool to ask everyone to come together and join as a big group and support kind of what we're doing all in our world right now. We're all coming together to help each other and support each other yeah. and bring her back to life. And then when she flies off, it's just like, the greatest and then you get to go save Wendy so it's yes. really fun that is awesome I wish I could have seen you in that production as either person but I'm sure it would have been amazing to see you as Peter um, I would say I think I enjoyed Peter a lot more yeah so talk about paying, playing both which one did you do first I did Wendy first and okay. it asked if I could audition for Peter, but they were very adamant. They really wanted a boy for this production. And what's funny is they did hire a boy who we both have worked with, Michael Bartella. 
Yeah. They hired Mike, um, but Mike got another job that was a little bit bigger. He was going to go do an off-Broadway show. So he unfortunately had to leave the show before we even started rehearsals. Wow. And they just decided, you know what? This next person we really, really love, um, we're going to hire her. And it was a woman. And she was great. Um, her name's Nancy Anderson. She's a big Broadway star. And so I was a little bummed because I was like, I really wanted to audition for that role. And I knew I would have been great. But I was just happy I got to be in the show and to fly. That was always my dream. Um, and I loved my beautiful blonde wig. And I got to be in a nightgown the whole show. So I really loved it. Not a bad thing. No, it was great. Okay, so and then you got to play Peter. And then when I got to play Peter, um, what's interesting is – it was the same set and costumes used in both productions because what you all hopefully have watched is the Kathy Rigby version, which um, that set and those costumes are available for a rental package of what we call it. So if a regional theater or some place, you know, where I did both of my shows, they can rent that whole package. So I and up- all of those same costumes and set pieces. Yeah. So I got to be in the same set twice, which is really cool. And then I got to wear Kathy Rigby's actual costume as Peter because we're kind of the same size. It was great. That's amazing. Yeah. So, okay. So can you say one most magical thing about playing Wendy and one magical thing about playing Peter? They're the same. I got to fly. Both times you got to fly. Yeah. You've flown in a lot of shows, Haley. Yeah, I've flown in three shows, and one was with you, and we did Wicked together in yeah. a bubble. It's true. You came in by bubble, but these other times, there was no bubble. This was all you Pixie flung. dust. Yeah. Pixie dust and lovely thoughts. Yeah. So what is it like to fly? It's the coolest thing in the world. Um, I'm not sure if the video I sent you is – it's not very clear, so I apologize, but I hope the kids get to see it. Um, So what's interesting, the difference between Wendy flying and Peter flying is when everyone who flies, which is Michael, John, and Wendy, um, and Jane at the very end, spoiler alert, everyone, you have the same harnesses on, but all of those characters have their hook back here for when they fly. Now with Peter, you have this hook, but you also have hooks on your hips. Yeah. And the hips one allow you to do front and back flips which bring it on I love that stuff (laughs) whereas the other one is mostly just up and down side to side so um there's lots of different hidden places around the set and the set is actually see-through which as the audience member you can't see that because the lights are shining onto it but it has to be see-through because everyone who's helping you fly has to be able to see if they're going to run you into a wall or not which wow that is so, so cool. That is see-through, which is really neat. That is awesome. um, and as Peter, I always, at the very, very end of the show, which is in my video during my curtain call, I would fly up and I'd fly up and every day I tried to add more flips. So I think in the video I sent you, I think I ended up doing 10 flips in that one, which ten. I loved it. <laughs> But you had never done anything like that before. Um, Not like that where you're doing acrobatics in the air. and No, I hadn't. And they train you very well. There's some flying companies. There's a couple of them. Um, and they have people that specifically work a lot with Peter Pan or Mary Poppins. A lot of shows that require flight. Yeah. Um, so they come in and they train you and you feel very safe. You've got people helping you, you know, with the... It's basically a pulley system. So one person jumps off a ladder and that's how they, that's how you fly. That's how I fly in through the window. The magic of the theater. Yeah. A man is holding a rope and I'm on the ground. And when he jumps off the theater, I lift up. Um, So it's really, it's really, really cool. And you feel very safe. Um, 
but I loved it. My dream has always been to fly and I still would love to do Peter Pan right. again. Yeah. One, well, and, and it's so cool that females get to play that role. And there's some amazing females that have played that role from Mary Martin, Kathy Rigby, Sandy Duncan. Like, it's just so cool. Something in this iconic character that we always think of as this boy, but women always end up playing. The yeah, role. it's really it's neat. So and cool. I grew up kind of one of the boys in my neighborhood. So I I know how to, I know how to hang with the guys, you know? Um, you can wear a blue bubble dress, but you can also hang with the guys. Yeah. And I like that. I liked, um, it was also really nice not having to put on a ton of makeup for the show. Cause as women in theater, we most of the time have to wear a lot of makeup and it was great. I just showed up and I put on some, you know, glitter and my wig and that was about it. Great. The transformation is sometimes so easy and sometimes so difficult. Yeah. But what amazing stories that you have and treasured things. And hopefully some of the pictures you guys have seen that Haley sent us, um, you guys have enjoyed seeing her play both of those roles and how cool that we've been talking about, you know, what it means to be an actor. And we talked about this in week one with Cinderella, how we transform, right? We use our emotions and what we're thinking and feeling to transform what people are um, wanting on the other end as an audience member. So it's so cool that one person can play two completely different roles in totally different productions, um, but be able to have that treasured moment of each. So I have one yeah. more question for you. Okay. If you could say you're besides flying, because we know that's your favorite, but if there's one thing that you think Peter Pan is trying to teach us, what do you think that would be? Or at least when you were playing Peter, what were you trying to get the audience to know before they left? Um, I always think that it's very important, no matter what age you are, that you still have an imagination and you're still able to play and have fun. And I hope that's happening right now for everybody at home. I know I am. I've got my coloring books out. I'm playing games with friends. I'm writing in a journal. So I'm trying to stay, um, you know, when I want to be. I'm being very mindful if there's days where I don't want to do those things. I don't have to do those. But um, I think it's important to kind of stay a little bit artistic, but to make sure that you're having fun, too. I love that. I love that imagination. And I love that message. And I love you. I love you. <laughs> Well, we want to say thanks to Haley, and we hope that you guys enjoy seeing some of her pictures, and we will catch you in the next video, so click below. Bye, guys.